just too good here and on instagram the final lego jurassic world set has leaked at least this is the final jurassic world dominion set for the 2022 spring wave this is i can't really say them perfectly but the Dirazinosaurus versus Gigantosaurus. Did I say it right, dinosaur fans? Did I say it right? Let me know in the comments below. I love the two species of dinosaur that we haven't gotten from Lego before. Again, I'm not too familiar with these species, but I'm like, hey, look, I, I, I like their designs. I collect all of the Lego modern dinosaurs. The design of the Therizinosaurus, again, I'll just say the Theriz, <laughs> the, the Therizaurus. Uh, the Theriz <laughs> has some interesting claw piece, like this attachment here kind of made me think of the one from uh, the, was it the Indoraptor of Fallen Kingdom, which it's not the same one. Just interesting how that's attached there. And the actual base arm piece is the new piece. The parts of the claw being an attachment with that clip piece and then that uh, tooth at the end there. And then the design of the there is has an interesting sand blue base. I like those red spots as well. And I believe that head is new and exclusive to the set as well. Then we have the Gigantosaurus. Okay, I think I got the hang of that one. This design not only has a great color scheme with that green that they use, but the design also has a new body with that spike part in the middle there, I guess, if you want to call it that. Love how that looks. The build itself reminds me a lot of that 2015 flagship Jurassic World set. The design of that base being more of a research base this time than say a containment center. I'm just reminded of that main section with kind of a corner design there. I like this research base. There's a lot of nice translucent blue to make it a transparent design. And this design overall just looks very complete from the exterior. I know it's not going to be that deep once we get interior designs it just looks like it's more of a facade so i won't get my hopes up too much keep in mind though that this set is rumored to be 120 dollars in the united states which for 120 dollars hmm, it's not the worst price there's been poorly priced stuff from other themes this year i guess is it the best price no but i expect that with two new dinos Anyways, back to the build of the set, there's the tower, which I really like that design as well. It's just kind of an interesting take that has a very, I guess, uh, natural color scheme too. I mean, it looks something that you would find in the real world. It doesn't look like it's a, a Lego set in that regard, and I think that's a good thing. And then we have that copter at the top, which actually looks pretty cool as well. We also have a small buggy there, which you can see leads us to the minifigures, where we have Ellie Statler, a figure that appears in this more old version in other sets. Though this set actually has old Alan Grant, which the grainy pictures that we get from this instruction design doesn't give us the best look yet, but I can't wait to see a better look because that old Alan Grant from the trailers looks pretty darn awesome. Up top, we have a new version exclusive to this set of Dr. Henry Wu. I always love getting new variants of him, but we've gotten so many. And then also we have that new version of older Ian Malcolm, who maybe has a new print, but it's really hard to see inside the copter. And then there's Owen Grady as well as what seems to be Claire Deering, but I might be wrong about that. Anyways, like I said, that set is $120. At least that's what the rumor is. We have no confirmation just yet. This is a very interesting set that I will be getting. I, I regret not getting that 2015 set that it reminds me so much of. I collect all the dino species and getting two new ones in one set and getting a pretty interesting research build. Could be a modified welcome center. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I like buildings, so getting that as main build instead of a big vehicle is something that I prefer. And since I'm not a dino expert, I think the two new dino look cool. I don't take these as accurate interpretations of dinos. I mean, some people say that all dino were feathered, so Lego already has it wrong. <laughs> I'm not bothered by the inaccuracies, but 
I'm sure that there are some inaccuracies here. So if you are bothered by that, let me know in the comments which parts did they get wrong about these dinos. Regardless, thanks to Pricey Plastic Product. Subscribe for more LEGO discussion. And I'll see you guys later. Peace out. Bye.